Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. So in today's demo, we are going to do weather forecasting using sensor data and sensor data is going to come from IoT devices. In this demo, we are going to leverage a Raspberry Pi simulator and then uh, we are going to send the messages to IoT Hub and then using Stream Analytics and Machine Learning Studio, we are going to predict that uh, if the, what is the chance for RAN is happening, right? And uh, these IoT devices are going to send us the temperature where there is installed what is the temperature and what is the humidity. And based on that two factor, we are going to decide that RAN is going to happen. And then we are going to persist this uh, into a storage for alerting purpose or maybe uh, visualization purpose or any other purpose. So that is what we are going to do is in this demo. And as I, I talked about that we are going to use Raspberry Pi online simulator as we don't have devices. And uh, we, we have created, uh, we will use IoT Hub and Stream Analytics and Machine Learning Studio. So that is what we are going to do. But the question is why we required that one. So let's see some huge cases for that one. If we go into this one, uh, some of the uh, article, then you will see that how they are leveraging this one into farming, right? Uh, if farming, there are some devices installed and they are sending something, right? That way they, you can detect that, okay, what is that uh, probability to having rain? And that's where you can plan that, right? Other, other can be that major airlines can plan their route based on if there is a chances to getting high uh, rain and other things, they can plan that way. Firefighter team come or other people or other companies can be prepared based on that one. If they install this IoT devices into uh, forest and other things, then they can detect different things and then they can they can plan that I mean, right that that is the few things we can achieve and this is real based example farming and other things how weather prediction is required into a smart farming so that is what we are going to see and that is how we are going to use the simulator and some of the services provided by azure stack let's uh, let's go into azure portal and let's uh, do this one so we are in azure portal and as we talked about that, we are going to create resource group for this IoT related demo. Let me create quickly. And I'm going to keep this one is serious only or we can change that one to other one also, whatever makes sense. So Let's go with Central US. Our resource group has been created. Now I'm going to create an IoT hub. Okay. As we talk about that, an IoT hub is used for connecting millions of devices whether they are running using Windows OS on that devices or Linux OS or any other real-time operating system, right? They can get the command from IoT Hub or they can send the performance-related command messages to this uh, IoT Hub. So let's go ahead and create this one. And I'm Keep in central US because that is what we thought we will do. So uh, we can enable this one from public access or private access. Private access, when we do that one, we have to add private endpoint and other thing. So I'm not going in that details. Right now I'm creating with public access only. And in management section, we can see the details about the pricing tiers and Details like uh, if we go for free tiers, there is defender for IoT is dis um, disabled. So that feature is disabled. Mm -hmm. For rest of the feature, if we go and see that uh, basic tier, some other features are also um, disabled. So we can go for standard feature S1. Uh, let it me the defender IoT edge everything is enabled for that one. I can go and choose the disabled world. Uh, that does not matter, but 
it will be enabled for that one and how that access control will be used only RBAC or shared access or policy plus RBAC both both uh, so that we can keep the same both we need to that do that one so add me to IOT hub contributor role that is okay we can do anyway I am admin on the subscription so I have access on these details right so all this preview mode and other things is going to come uh, Tags are generally used for that if you want to categorize this one using pre-prod, prod, or maybe uh, you want to see that one costing perspective, or maybe organization you want to put, or service, or team, uh, that you can put all the details. Uh, so we can go next and see that one, how it is going to create this. It will take some time, so let's wait. Till the time it is happening, let's install one of the tool which we generally used for exploding that what message is coming to IoT Hub and that tool is IoT Hub Explorer, I guess. Let's see. So we can go ahead and install that one. Let's go ahead and see what are the religious is there. So we can go for MSI. Let me download this one. It will help us to see when when IoT device, any IoT device which we are going to see and we will use the simulator for that one because we do not have any actual device. So we will see that what kind of message is coming and it will uh, help us to see, visualize and then configure that one uh, next step. So let's see. So this IoT resource has been created. Now we can go ahead and uh, see this one. So. If you see this one right now, this is the page where IoT Hub provides all the details. What is the message used per today is zero, then daily quota, and how many IoT devices connected to this one. All this is going to come. And if you go into see this one, uh, uh, this is the place where you we can find the connected devices. What is the authentication type they are using? And if we need to add using this one. So all this we can do from here. And we are going to do because we, we have to add devices and for devices we are going to use simulator and then message routing is the place where we can go and see that how much uh, build-in points are there then we, we, are, we are going to leverage these things to route our messages to ma uh, to service bus and then we will see that how to connect logic app for this demo right so using message routing we can connect to endpoints uh, either event hub service bus queue service box topic storage and other things and also we can update some messages that okay if we want to update any value for incoming messages or we want to add any uh, tags or custom uh, custom message filled so we can add that one we are going to see some use the leverage the some of the things in that custom endpoint uh, for demos so let's see that one so now let's create some of the devices. Let's add one device like uh, soft which demo device one, right? Uh, let me add this one. Okay, this one. And I will try to have two devices in two different things. So let me add one more soft which demo device, right? So these two device has been added, but because you see that last day status and other thing is not connected. Let's start our, uh, first let's uh, install this tool. Uh, so this is the tool uh, for IoT Hub to explore that one. I can go ahead and grab the connection string and then we can leverage that one. So for that connection string, we need to go to shared access policy and we can get the connection string. So this there are built-in policy and we can add more. We will see that detail. So let's go ahead and grab this one, primary one, and we can go here and we can see. So we can see there are two devices are right now they are disconnected. And if we go in details, we can see that what are the details over here. Right. So we, that is how this device, uh, this this is being used right now. So we can go and see that more details for this one. Okay. Uh, so let me now start 
simulator for that purpose. So simulator is there, which is developed into node.js, very web simulator. That is what we are going to leverage this one. So this is, uh, if you see, this is, because we do not have device, uh, we are going to leverage this simulator. And this is the Raspberry Pi simulator built for uh, testing purpose. And this is the developed into Node.js uh, and this all has details. So what we have to do, we have to grab that, uh, we have to create the devices and then we have to grab the primary key and other things from that device. We did create it, that device. So we will leverage that one. And then we have to replace that one into line number 15 and that's all we have to do. So if you see this, there are line number 15 and I can open this same into another window also. Okay. So let's go into our portal. And this is not that connection string. We need to get the connection string from our devices. So, so that it will have the device ID and other things. So if we go into device section for device one, and uh, we can copy these details, primary string from here, uh, let's primary connection string. Let me go with the first one. Here I'm going to replace this one quickly. That's all we have to do. And this is going, this is monitoring that temperature. This is this is a simulator for temperature monitor. And this is this, uh, suppose this is installed into some place and it has sensor to monitor temperature, temperature and other things. Temp and it is going to send to our, our IoT hub. So that is what it is going to do. Let's run this one and let's see that it is able to send or not, right? So right now it is sending message, message ID equals to one, device ID equals to Raspberry Pi one client. And this is all these things is there, right? This is coming right now. And if, this is what all these details are coming from here. So if we go and see a little bit into our portal, Azure portal, let's go back to our Azure portal and let's see that into our, our IoT hub and overview section. Now we should be able to see that 11 messages came. There are two IoT devices we have uh, created, but still we are we have connected only one. So we can see the details into some more details we can see from here. If we refresh this one, let's see. This is, if you see, this is connected right now and using the SAS token, it is created. If we go into details of this one, and if we go into telemetry, we can see the details for telemetry that uh, we can see what events are it is receiving so let's see that uh, so if you see this this is that um, this is sent by that device that this is the temperature body dot temperature and uh, in queue message all this is coming so perfectly fine the one device we have connected let's try to connect the another device let's let me stop this one and because we created one more into the same simulator into this place. So I'm going to grab the another one, another device. And this is the device. I am going to get the primary connection string for this one. And then I can go into our this section and we can change it here. Uh, run this one also. So it is also sending. Um, so now as we our device has been connected. Now let's go ahead and create a stream analytics service so that we can connect with Azure Machine Learning Studio for this demo. So for creating a Azure Stream Analytics, we need to search with the Stream Analytics job. And then if you see, it is fully managed cost and effective real-time event processing engine, right? So as we are, our devices are sending on the real-time message, this is going to process that message. Once it is landing into IoT Hub, we will connect this one. This one. So let's Okay, and rest we have into central US. So let's do this one. It will take some time to do this one. Yeah, let's go to stream analytics jobs. 
now we have to go back to our hub and we have to do configurations we know that our we have two devices connected into this iot hub now we will go and connect with the endpoints right so let's see that in custom endpoint and in custom endpoint we do not see this option to connect with our event um, stream analytics job let's go to built-in one so built-in is also not there so maybe we need to go to and connect with it. let's go ahead here and we can add input add stream input and it can give the options to this three blob and event hub and iot hub we have, we have to see from iot hub let's go soft page iot hub and then we can go and provide the manual settings but we can select from subscription also so this is our, our iot hub and this is our consumer group we can see this one this is that our consumer groups and other things this is consumer group this is name so this is all we have and we can go and keep this one in json because we know that our devices are sending the data into json let's quickly verify that one uh, that if you see this one our devices are sending into json so this message is coming so we can go ahead and quickly do this one there is no comparison we are doing right now so let's do so right now we are adding that input so it is testing right now now it is done right so next step what we have to do that we have to out add output right and uh, so let's go to output one and in output there are various options where we can do so output can be our table storage service bus queue and other things will be there so that also we can leverage but in between we have to before uh, let's go into add because what we want to do that uh, after prediction of rainfall we are going to store into blob right so let's go into add into blob and for blob we have our storage account also so iot uh, storage okay so create new container email output okay create system connection string let's keep the connection string for now let's keep everything here so right now also output is set up in between we have to add function so it will take input call the function and put into output that is what it is going to and here are few options are there one of the options which we are going to use machine learning studio and for machine learning studio we have to provide the details for which service right now and other things but we have not done created any service let's go and see this one right so uh, this is azure machine learning classic one the machine learning studio classic one it is going to retire into 24 but we can still use it for demo purpose and the same thing you we can go and do in the uh, new version and uh, i'm not going to develop any uh, weather prediction model there is already a prediction model is already developed and given for demo purpose so let's open this one into classic studio So it is asking for region let it be in south central us and it will be in my pretty so usage so so this is what it does from weather forecast it selects if you see that old weather forecast from is coming from we can see the database also that it for training purpose what they have done that let this open uh, so it has taken the weather code forecast and whatever column they have selected that okay weather type and other things and then all all the edit metadata cleansing up that missing data and executing rf the r script and they have done and then based on that one they have 
uh, given this uh, uh, train the model but we are not going to do all this we are just going to set up this one as a uh, service so let's go and let's save this one okay and if you see that um, data set was there which was containing this uh, all the details for training purpose that they have used that one so that anyway we are not going to do this one so we have to just develop so let's run one more time here so it is right now being queued right now if you see here it is running so let's see run let, let it this run so it validated everything is fine for this one now we can go ahead and set up this one so we can go ahead and set up and using there are two methods to do the, that one but we can go and set up using predictive one so let's go and set up this one predictive one what it will do that it will set up this as a web service and it will give us our endpoint which we will go ahead and call from this one so it is giving all these details so so right now now it will take whatever input we will pass from the stream analytics and it will use all this it will give this one in a score model and then your web service output will be there so this is how it is going to happen right so now we we can see and try to run one time let's try to run so it finished running let's go and deploy this web service now Now we can see this this is the details for web service and other things where we can see the rest request and response let's go ahead and see so this will be the request and response for this one so it is the post one it will be there this will be calling and this will be the sample request and then it will be a sample result it will give that one so we can go and use this one so we can go and this is api key which we will require to set up into that place let's go into now let's go to our stream analytics so we were doing where is that stream analytics yeah so here in the function tab we had function so let's do weather for cast function alias right and we can go to uh, our machine learning services let me replace this one it will come once we go into this one so why it is not picking no web service okay let's do this one now weather podcast and then we can give that url and other things and we know that what is our url so let's see when we downloaded this one right this excel 2010 or earlier okay So we know this this is the U web service URL. Let's see. Mm -hmm. 
okay let's use this web service url and this is the url let's take our key right and save this one okay so it is testing the function okay so right now it is doing that all these things now uh, we, we this data is coming and other things are there so now we have to start this stream analytics so let's see this one and if everything runs perfectly fine then we should be able to see something into our output storage right okay it failed okay now uh, let's go to our query section we need to update little bit query over here so and it will be whether first not machine learning which we i have maybe mistyped okay so So weather forecast. Okay, so it is asking for more one because we from our thing only two parameter is coming, but this is giving more parameter. So we might need to tweak little bit our experiment. Oh, and let's see predictive one which we created. So right now, if you see, this is that column is uh, the selected column. This is taking from here. Let's see this one. What is that? It is. So these are that all is 23 columns. It seems that it is asking. So we we do not need because that is required for training this data set. And after this one, if you see this one, uh, till that time we are getting that only. So I hope uh, let's change a little bit this one. Um, let's save this one. Save one. Sorry. Let's run and let's quickly verify one more time if everything is running fine. This was that it is doing all this. So now web service model, uh, I drag and drop to here in service model. And then let's deploy this one, override yes. Okay. Let's see functions. Now function says the two because I've updated everything. And our query is looks like now this one that with machine learning, machine learning is alias for this one where it is taking that in Q time and temperature, humidity, weather forecast. Okay. Uh, and event event in Q time UTC time. Humidity temperature, it is passing to this function, uh, our fun machine learning function. And uh, once it is get that, it will give into our st storage. So that we can see. And our job is running now. So let's go and see into our uh, blob, right? Blob AML output we have. We got one. Let's see what is that output. so we see yeah so if uh, humidity was there uh, this one uh, uh, 77 temperature is the probability of rain is this one so there is a probability of this one for raining rain and other things so it will always it will start coming and it will 
grow uh, to call this one that uh, what is the probability of ran right let's wait a couple of more minutes it will do you do all this as message will come it will get increasing the message right now four is there let's wait for a couple of more time and then it will get increasing and then based on this one also we can we can generate an alert or whatever we want to do so this was a basic sample uh, basic demo where we can integrate machine learning with this iot and how that iot device will work there are more more messages came so now five is there that is how it is going to happen uh, this was i wanted to do a demo how to integrate from iot sending uh, iot devices sending messages based on the, the whatever they have configured for in this case they are configured for sending the temperature and temperature is being sent by the simulator and then we have iot hub which is connected with that uh, uh, iot devices and then we are connecting with a uh, stream analytics and machine learning studio model which we then uh, deployed as using web services and then based on that we are keeping the output it here into a storage account so that was we we are trying to do right now i hope you will like this one we will see the different demo for iot in next videos